What's up guys? Today I'm going to be trying out stupid five minute craft hacks. So this one I thought was pretty cool, if it works. Start with clear glue, some borax, dry borax guys, dry borax, and just mix it together. So apparently it's super, super sticky and it's written on the back of a picture or paper, whatever, and they're going to hang it up. Does it work? Let's test it out. So just like theirs, I'm starting with some school glue. And right now I'm trying to decide, should I add coloring to this or should I do exactly what they did? I decided to do exactly what they did. However, it is really paining me leaving this glue white. But moving on, I'm gonna add in my dry borax. I can't wait to see what happens here. Is it gonna clump up or is it gonna make slime? I couldn't stand it. I had to give this some color. Once done, it's time to mix this up. And you can see already that it is a mass and my coloring is not mixing uh, oddly enough. I don't know why that's there. And it's just wherever the borax was dumped in is the only thing that's becoming a blob. There, I wouldn't consider this really slime. Uh, it's more of just a blob. Take two. I'm going to try this again. I'm adding my borax. And I'm going to hope for a better outcome. Once that's done, it's time to mix it up again. I'm getting the same result, guys. So I'm just going to go with this even bigger blob that I've created. If you've ever added too much borax to your slime, you know what this is. It's just really hard, not slimy, not stretchy substance. So we're going to move on to part two of this hack and make our picture to hang upon the wall. Now that our picture is done, we're going to put this blobbier borax mixture onto the back it's kind of, I think it's supposed to be like the teacher's tack, you know, like blue, blue tack even. Um, and it goes onto your picture and you're going to paste it on the wall. Or not. I'm calling this a fake. So this one is a relaxing insole. So um, let's, let's do this. Clear. Whoa, they go so fast I can't even see it. Um, all right, so clear glue, then food dye, then contact lens solution, but hold up, just contact lens solution, and it makes a slime, look at that, and they put it in a cute little baggie. Into the shoe it goes. So just so, it just fits perfectly. It's amazing. All right guys, so that was that craft. So let's go try it out and see if this real or fake. It's, all, it's, it's definitely stupid, but you know, let's do this. I'm gonna start out this project with some blue food dye, just like Five Minute Crafts did. Apparently I added in glue and I, I forgot to tell you. So there, there you go. There's a clear glue in there as well. So mix that up. This white glue is not needed for this project, but I just wanted to have a little more opaqueness in there, if that's a word. Um, so yeah, I added some white glue. I went with Borax on this. You can use content lens solution. I often do. Um, I don't know what went wrong there, why I didn't use it. Anyway, you just need an activator, no big deal. I just wanted to show you the process of actually making slime with glue um, because I often do no glue. So this is a slime with glue. Um, they didn't show how to make the slime, not really on five minute crafts. 
they basically just went, ta-da, here's slime. What did, you have to knead that to get it to stop. So yeah, I did the kneading part for you. I didn't have a cute little rectangular bag like Five Minute Crafts did, so I decided to use a Ziploc. I think everyone has Ziplocs, so you could be, you'll be able to find one of those, hopefully, um, if they're not sold out at your store. So I'm just gonna take these, and I kind of smushed them down. I don't know why I did that, because I'm gonna have to fold it over anyway. Uh, yes, I wasn't thinking ahead of time. So, um, it's just going to be doubled up. So I put this in this cute little shoe that I made on my other channel, Kimtastic Hacks. Yes. Uh, if you want to find out how to do that, check it out. I did try to put the excess of the bag underneath so it wouldn't cut into, it's not even my foot, it's my daughter Madison's foot. So uh, she's going to be our little tester here. Here's the insole, a slime insole for your shoe. So stupid. But uh, it worked. She actually said it was quite comfortable. All right, for this next one, they obviously made a mistake. So they're gonna change that. So they're making clear glue, or gonna use clear glue, baking soda, food dye, contact lens solution, and there was some starch in there, and I think it was cornstarch. So they're just mixing that all up. And it made this slime, which is awesome. It's a racer slime. Does it really work? So here I am going about my day, writing my paper. Oh, and I have a mistake and I have no eraser. What am I to do? So first I'm gonna to need to change my background so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna get a cute little bowl and some school glue. Let's do this. I didn't pretty much in because I don't think you need all that much. Um, usually watching their video. And to that I'm gonna add in some cornstarch because I assume that's what they use because they just put starch. And I'm gonna color this one pink because I like pink erasers all this together and this kind of reminds me of the no glue slime um, that I make with cornstarch and like lotion it's kind of coming to the same thing so a lot of baking powder goes in there or baking soda and some contact lens solution and this should form a slime I'm getting a little nervous here because I'm mixing this up and it's not becoming like a solid like they have in their video so the best thing I can think to do is to add in more cornstarch and to mix that up and it should become more of a solid instead of like a regular soupy slime. After mixing the cornstarch and this slime together, it is becoming more solid like I'd hoped and I actually took out a big blob of it because I don't need that big a piece and why waste my product on that. Once I was happy with the consistency, I rolled it into a cute little ball. All right, now it's time to test this eraser slime. But first, I must shape it into the eraser form. Cue the drum roll. So it kind of erased, but I think that's just from the pressure of me pushing on it. Um, it didn't totally erase it like it did on five minute crafts. So I will call this one fake. All right, so this next tag, they're gonna start with PVA glue, liquid detergent, borax, y Y2 activators, I don't know. But then they're gonna stir it up a little bit. And it's this beautiful pink color. I really do like the pink color. It's kind of still sticky. Uh, and they made several batches of this. And it makes a cool pencil holder. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. But let's try it out. Our first step is to add in our glue. If you haven't already, go hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss a Will It Slime video. Thanks so much, guys. The next ingredient to go in is Tide dish detergent. Just kidding, laundry oh, okay. detergent. Wow, don't use it for your dishes. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that would go down. And I'm hating these new caps that Tide has come out with. They get everywhere. Every time this happens to me, like every single time. To that, we're gonna also add borax. I have no idea why they're using dry borax. Um, my, my mind is blown and why two activators, but I'm doing it just like Five Minute Crafts says to do it. And instead of making that pink luscious color they made, I'm gonna make this beautiful green snotty looking color. Love it. In their video, it came together so nicely and it was so soupy and kind of it needed to be activated more. Well, this looks to be a little disgusting and way over activated hence the borax that's dry that you're not supposed to use so um, i'm just going to go with it because this is their their recipe i'm going to try it out 
this is what I got. This is my beautiful bowl and I'm gonna put my slime in. I'm not gonna do a bunch of layers because I ain't got time for that. But this is my pencil and paintbrush pen holder. Isn't it wonderful? And so, so utterly stupid. Like who does this? Like really? If you have one of these at home, oh, please don't tell me about it. Here's another stupid crap that they did. They have this slime, right? Okay, so to make the slime, they're gonna use some school glue, coloring, baking soda. I'm assuming it just says soda. And they're just gonna mix it up. It makes a great, great slime. However, I don't see any kind of activator. Maybe it's no glue slime, that's awesome. All right, it's stretchy. So what are they gonna do with it now? Oh my gosh, they're gonna clean their keyboard. Let's test this out. Is this one real? Just like Five Minute Crafts did in their video, I'm gonna start off with the glue. And my hand is in the full shot. I'm so sorry you couldn't see that pour because it was very satisfying. I'm gonna color this one a pinky red. I'm hoping it turns out pink. Yeah, we'll see. And it's uh, poppy pink. Let's call it poppy pink. It makes me happy. Yay! The next ingredient to go in is the baking soda. They did not give any specifics of how much anything was, so I'm just kind of guesstimating. Um, yes, that is my word. I'm sure you've used it before too. Um, it's not in the dictionary. Mix these ingredients up really well, okay? You don't want to just have clumps of anything. So this is all they said to do and to pour onto your keyboard. Well, I'm not gonna do that because that would totally ruin my keyboard. That's crazy. You need an activator. They did not put an activator in their video, but this is how you would actually do it. You'd add in your eye contact lens solution. Yes, and this will become a beautiful slime. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm gonna call her Poppy. So really what we end up with here is just a basic slime. I mean, glue, color, baking soda, and uh, eye contact lens solution. That's all you got, and yeah. You can clean your keyboard with that. <laughs> Crazy and kind of stupid. This actually, oh, la, 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 la. this actually does work though. It gets the grime and nasty off your your keyboard, and then you can play with a nasty slime. Hey guys, if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, share this video. And anything else would be awesome. And also, we're thinking about doing some science experiments. So if you're interested in that. Comment down below. See you next time. What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be trying out stupid five minute half.